Terry McBride, the CEO of the Network Music Group. We're a record company, publisher, management company. Um, over the last 10 years, our artists have sold in excess of about 100 million albums. They go from everywhere from Avril Lavigne to Bare Naked Ladies to Coldplay to Dido, Sarah Mary Glocklin. Some 41, the list is endless. Um, Civil Engineer, 1984. Simply imagined starting a record company and releasing music that I loved. And the great thing about imagination, you already know what it looks like. You work your way backwards, not forwards. Well, a 360 deal is understanding all of the vertical revenue streams of an artist. So if you view an artist as a brand, that brand um, can sell intellectual property in the form of CDs. Um, it can sell t-shirts in the form of merchandise, uh, concert, concert tickets. Uh, could be synchronization of music in, uh, in film and TV. Those are all different verticals within inside a 360 model. So a lot of what was being talked about was the you know, labels trying to get a share of all of those pieces, where traditionally the label only has a share of the intellectual property. So they have no share of the merchandise, no share of the live revenue, um, purely the intellectual property. Well, I don't really look at any cons of subscription based. To me, it's all about choice. Give the consumer the choice to consume how and when they want. So make your intellectual property available everywhere in a DRM free format and allow the consumer to consume, collect data on that, and understand how to monetize that behavior by using that data. I'm very optimistic. I think um, the, the popularity of, of music has gone up, not down. I think the label's ability to monetize that has gone up or has gone down versus going up. And that's only because they've been focused on a per unit mentality versus understanding the fan. And I think once you understand the fan, you'll understand how to make this work. So anybody coming into this business should come at it really from the point of view of understanding behavioral marketing. And how, to, and, how to, and how to monetize them.